think audiences will enjoy seeing more of Mary's transformation into a wolf in this season and equally more of the wolf breaking free and the hijinks that ensue. We show the werewolf and we show a lot more of the werewolf than we did in season one. But then there was also the interesting reveal of, yes, it's now a pregnant werewolf as well, too. The season opens with a nightmare sequence. She looks down in a wedding dress and her stomach just bursts open. Um, again, really old school practical effects, which was really fun. And we're literally, Aaron and Colin are working on this here. This is the pop that bursts out of the tummy and attacks Gary at the, at the wedding. So it's the same suit that Andrew wore in the first one, but it's essentially a big prosthetic silicon tummy and boobs. And if you come around here, you can see the, the guys are like insert, inserting the hair one at a time, just blending from the fur fabric into the silicon. So we see hand stretches, we see uh, face muzzle stretching out, uh, feet stretching, spine busting, all the good stuff. I got you pregnant, with your permission, of course, and not when you were like this, uh, never when you were a wolf. Relationships get more and more complex uh, the longer they last, and, and we are definitely no longer in the honeymoon phase. Uh, and as things progress, uh, they get a little bit harder and harder for everybody involved, uh, especially me, as you can see in, in uh, this episode. Adding to the romance, adding more wolf, adding more action, adding more thrills, adding more twists and turns, um, adding an extra episode, and it just seemed to tick every box. I was very um, impressed. It's never been scarier than it is having a child that is either going to be a baby or a wolf, and everything that leads up to it is uh, pretty unexpected and, and pretty chaotic. <laughs> <laughs>